Well, I think the key focus for us this year is we wanted to get people to get hands on and play the software. Um, so that was a massive priority with us. So instead of having the press conference where we would be on stage talking about them, we wanted to get everyone down here just to play. Um, and you'll see from the stand today, it's rammed. Um, you know, everyone's really keen to obviously get a go on Mario Kart and Super Mario 3D Land. Donkey Kong's been a big hit. And one of my personal favorites, Pikmin, um, again, we've got that here. So I think that's what the show is about for us, getting people to play the games and importantly, the ones that are coming this year. The key games, well, uh, we, we've got numerous ones, but I guess it kicks off with Pikmin. We've then got Wonderful 101 coming. We've got Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. We've got Super Mario 3D World. We've got Zelda, uh, Wind Waker HD, um, plus the selection. We've got a Sonic game coming as well. So, you know, it's gonna be, it's gonna be busy. So um, it's the full 3D HD Mario game. So it's called Super Mario 3D Worlds. So it's the very first time that you'll get to play a 3D Mario game as multiplayer. So you can choose to play as either Mario or Luigi or Toad or Princess Peach. Um, and they all come with their special unique abilities. So it's great fun. Um, it's got the new cats. You can do a cat transformation which means that you can run up walls, use your claws to scratch characters. And the pole at the end, you can scuttle up the pole. So it's great fun and it looks beautiful in HD. So certainly one of the big highlights for us here today. Yes, yeah, so we're showcasing Mario Kart here. So Mario Kart 8, um, which includes an anti-gravity feature, which means that you can race up the walls, you can race upside down, you can race with 12 different players. So it's really great fun and it looks stunning in HD. It's Zelda Wind Waker, um, so it's the same basic concept of the previous Zelda Wind Waker, but in beautiful HD, but it has been fine-tuned. So there are some new little features in there. Um, there's a new cell that means you can sail between the islands quicker. Um, so there's some other little small additional features to it. But I think basically for those that have loved the previous Wind Waker, it's such a beautiful game to play on the Wii U. And obviously there's all those millions of people out there who were perhaps too young to have played the previous Zelda Wind Waker. So we certainly think it's going to be a really big hit this Christmas. And again, really popular on the stand on the first day. Lots of people coming to have a look at it. Well, obviously Nintendo's franchises are very important for us. But again, we've got great support from third parties. So we've got support from the likes of Disney. We've got Sega and Sonic, Warner Brothers. So and, and EA with their Need for Speed game, which is one of the greatest racing games on the Wii U. So we do have strong third party support as well. And I think our aim is essentially to provide something that everybody loves. So whether you like the more classical multi-platform games or you like the Nintendo franchise, it's really something for everyone. I guess the key thing I'd say is that if you love Nintendo franchises, if you love unique games like Mario and Zelda and Donkey Kong and Pikmin and games that you want to play with your friends and family together in the living room, then you can only do that on Wii U.